So if you're a regular person like me, you might need a recipe to become a perfect wife. Okay, just, you know, become better. It'll help. <laughs> Keep watching to find out what book we are talking about today. Hey y'all, it's Kyla Denayo and we're talking all about perfection, perfect spouses, perfect love, perfect all the stuff, okay? Today we're talking about the book, A Recipe for a Perfect Wife, all right? The author of the book is Karma Brown. The genre of the book is fiction. The theme of the book is literature. So, I love the cover, okay? You got the 1940s, 1950s housewife right there. But you look a little bit closer. Okay, is that a knife in her hand? Is it something for like smearing cream cheese? And then you got like little, like, skull and crossbone. Wait a minute, what? Child, listen. <laughs> This book was reminiscent of Julie and Julia because it is a contemporary story of a marriage and it is a um, past marriage that you're following, right? So Alice and her husband Nate move into this house. They find the cookbook of Nellie. Nellie and her husband, all the drama, right? And Nellie wants to be perfect. They're living in the 40s and the 50s. She's always hosting. She has all these great recipes. They make everything from scratch, right? Canned goods are a thing, but you're just not buying them in the store. All of it. And Nellie is trying her hardest to be perfect. She looks amazing. She's smoking the cigarettes with a cigarette holder so her fingers aren't getting stained. She's trying to give him a child. Richard does not care. Richard does not care, all right? But to see that juxtaposed with Alice's relationship with Nate, Nate wants a baby yesterday. Give me this kid, I bought you the house, where is the kid? Meanwhile, Alice is not having a baby. When Nate finds out why they're not having a baby, when Nate finds out how much buying this house and moving to the suburbs has changed their relationship, right? It's a bigger deal to go from an apartment to a home than you think. For one, your responsibility balloons, right? Not even only if you have a mortgage, but like something in our house breaks every month. And like, if you have more space, like even my husband and I, we went from a 900 square foot, two bedroom apartment with a one year old to a 2000 square foot house with a three year old. And now she just has more space to run and put crowns on the walls and do all the stuff, right? And so the responsibility level is just different. Alice has a garden. She wants to be in the garden. She has neighbors. And Alice and Nate's relationship changes so much. So we don't get to see Alice and her relationship with her parents, but Alice does have a good friend, Bronwyn, and that relationship is really important because Bronwyn has her own relationships, but Alice really starts to learn from Nellie. She reads the cookbook, she tries the recipe, she starts changing her look, she meets the neighbors who actually still remember Nellie, right? So Alice really evolves into this different person within her marriage and it really changes things, okay? So, my favorite thing about the book, the ending. Ciao. Listen, Nate and Alice are not still married. There is no way, there is no way. There are multiple references to the time in this book. They're married 2018. The pandemic's gonna come, there, there's no way they're still married. Zero chance. Karma, call me, I will help you write the next installation of this book. No way they're still married, absolutely zero. None, just saying, <laughs> okay? You can have that for free, all right? So would I reread the book, A Recipe for a Perfect Wife? Oh, yes. For one, this whole swan mix, I'm like, oh, I can't wait. Oh my God, give me the recipe. Psych. <laughs> Just playing, right? I thought this was your, your family putting lemon pepper on steaks because it makes it really good. Never mind. The book is phenomenal. There are actual real recipes in here. I'm gonna try the one for the cheddar popovers, right? Like phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. Yes, I would reread it, okay? So if you're interested in relationships and how people interact and all that good stuff, check out this review here for the book, The Golden Couple. It's phenomenal, all right? See you on the next one.